All right, everyone. Welcome back to the garage. We are about to get ready to do a, uh, a diesel purge on the old OM617 engine here. But uh, I wanted to show you what we got out of the, uh, the old fuel lines recently. Those are rust particles from the steel fuel line. Now you may recall from my other video where I replaced the in-tank fuel strainer, the two fuel rubber lines below the fuel tank. I also replaced this filter and the primary filter in my previous video. Uh, so it's been a couple of weeks since we did that. And here we are. Look at that. Um, I'm assuming, you know, we, we knocked some rust loose or something in some of the steel lines. So, thankfully, we do have a pre-filter. This is why, this is why your pre-filter is so important. Um, so, I have two new filters. I've got, uh, I've got two new pre-filters and I've got a new uh, main filter as well. So what we're going to do is, I'm getting ready to do a diesel purge. Uh, we're going to go with the Liquid Molly, which is really popular. I'm going to replace the current pre-filter uh, and get, that, uh, get those metal rust particles or those rust particles out of there. And then we'll, uh, we'll do the diesel purge. And when the diesel purge is done, then we'll go in and we'll put in yet another pre-filter. And then we'll change that guy over there. Uh, but that's the plan. Not going to do that uh, this evening, however. Just wanted to give you a little shout out here real quick before we start this little project. Yeah, this is what you might encounter when you buy a classic Mercedes and you start poking around with the fuel lines, that's what you might get, folks. Uh, so after we do the diesel purge and we put the new uh, pre-filter in, and we're going to keep a we're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to keep an eye on this uh, this pre-filter and see if we get any any more uh, rust flakes. If we do, then we are going to get down here and we're going to change out these metal fuel lines all the way back to the tank. I'm not sure if I can buy pre-bent fuel lines, but I've bent fuel lines before, so looks like I may be doing that again. So, all right, just wanted to give you guys a quick shout. Appreciate you watching the channel. Uh, give me a like, if you would, please, and uh, also subscribe. My goal is 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks for watching.